Hello guys, this is TV Coder here and today's video I will teach you about ASP.NET MVC5 and also API and I'm using database first approach so uh, I'm not uh, guide you about installation of the SQL Server Management Studio 2014 and also Visual Studio Community 2015 which I'm using uh if you are not installed that program please make sure guys to uh, google it first and also watch other tutorials and after you already install all of them just come back here and if you are had a paid version of a visual studio a standard edition or also uh, sql server management studio on the uh, standard edition not uh, express express is a free version a community also the free version of the visual studio and also express on the sql server and it will be gr very grateful and as i know that uh if you approve case the paid version of the sql server and visual studio there's a lot of uh installation guide you you guys might want to check them out the guide installation and I will sh show you guys how to uh, make your database on the SQL Server and also make your project on your uh, Visual Studio 2015. So let's get started. So I need to search the program that SS SSMS. It says S SQL Server Management Studio. Just click SQL S and SQL is all all the same things. It's just a different uh, pronunciation for some of the people. It might be confusing, but other words is all the same thing. And the default database when you use a new query is a master. So you need to create your database. There is two approach. Number one is uh, you can use click new database and define your name like here and click OK and other way you can use create database is uh, whatever you want to name it I'm using uh, Arial 2 because already existing on this just just name it with a different and press F5 if you want to use a query and don't forget to use uh, use Henryo2 after you creating this database and also uh, you need to use them but it's a simple approach I will suggesting use this new database and is uh, Henryo2 executing and you can create table same uh, ways of the like a database but a difference is a new you need to expand the tables and don't oh you don't really need to expand the tables just right click new table and I had a problem with my installation so if you guys work it just use a new table there's a lot of uh, fields you will need to define and also the data type you need to define and also allow nulls or not is a checkbox uh, you need to click if you want to so I will need to approach using the query because I cannot create the new tables since I had problem with my installation so I need to create table and don't forget to use and layer 2 okay and you need to create table I'm just using initialize in the beginning of the table name uh, here to make sure it simple to memorize for myself but you can use other name if you want to and I will not using a uh, auto increment for the identity because uh, I really don't like it so I just using some kinds of for char and I just getting at the end of the string of the uh, I was saying uh, identity and I want to is a five letters length 
and I just want to get uh, the last uh, character of the one string and I just convert to integer and increment it and turn it back to the string and attach with uh, the letter of the string at the beginning so need to define a name of a field is user ID is a for char 25 because I don't really want to auto increment using an integer I really don't want to it's a primary key not null is a username for char 50 not null if you want to this is a data type this is a data length if you are using a for char and for char or something like that and you can use for char max but I'm not I'm not using that I need to limit it on this uh, for char 50 as a password I need to use the length is a 100 because I need to store the password on the hash strings unlike with a fully text string so I'm only store the password only the hash string so not no I here need to execute using F5 or using the click the execute button on right here and need to use F5 because it's much simpler than you need to hover it and just click it and need to create another table create table T item need to define the fields is an item ID or char 25 not primary key not null is a item for char is a length of 70 not null stock in big integer if you want to use integer just okay but the stock in here is probably a uh, bigger just I need to make it uh, safe and simple using a big in and need to define the price is a numeric 20 comma 2 is a not null and not forget to define the not null so what is a numeric 20 comma 2 and example if i had some the price is i want to input is the result is a 2000 i'm on the add uh, example the price is two twenty two thousand uh, something and if you are the formatting using this it uh, returns kind of like this if using a one it, it returns like this and you can also define a zero but I want to use two because I kind of like this format so using F5 or if you want to save just block this uh, statement just press F5 or using click the execute button oh I forgot the commas okay just using F5 or click the execute button oh just need to erase that is just a sample okay it's already done I need to add one more table is a transaction transaction ID for chart 25 primary key not null is a user ID for chart 25 you need to define the same thing with the master table example t user is a master table user id is a foreign key from the t user on inside the transaction table so you need to use a foreign key to reference it foreign key and you need to don't forget to same as the definition of your table example user id is a 25 on for char you need to do the same 
otherwise it returns error references is a t user uh, circle brackets is a your identity on your set of primary key is a user id not no uh, item id for char 25 foreign key references the item item id not no is a quantity you want to buy some items is a big integer not no is uh, your total is a numeric 20 commas 2 for the grand total you can use on your uh, code of the ASP.NET you need you don't really need to uh, calculate the grand total and insert to the database you don't really need to do that so just click f5 and just press f5 uh, sorry just press f5 on your keyboard or click the execute button on right here so just press on that and it's created successfully so right now you need to open your visual studio i'm using visual studio community 2015 is free you can download that but you really need to use some register your uh, Windows Live to uh, access your project otherwise it uh, doesn't come to create your project or, or open your project something like that so you need to create your uh, Windows Live account to use that so just create new project I already opened the Visual Studio Community 2015 and you need to choose this and you can rename your application is my app and just click OK there is a MVC web API web forms empty something like that but I really want to use MVC and also web API so just click mvc and web api if you want to i don't really want to host in the cloud we're using make microsoft azure i don't really need that dedication no on dedication so press ok it took some time to create your project because uh, the Visual Studio need to get the data from the cloud into the local storage. So it takes time to uh, create your project. So the project is already done to creation. So you need to build your project using just press your on your keyboard Control Shift and B. To some time is succeeded fail if you press ctrl shift and b it will be save all your uh, progress of your project so if you want to start without debugging you can also press ctrl and f5 but if you want to uh, start the project with a debugging you only press on um, f5 so I already built my project and also start my project. It returns this and you are ready to go on your disk. This is not an error. It's, that means this uh, web application is work perfectly. So I want to initialize my uh, project from uh, SQL Server Management Studio, which I created to this project. So how are we gonna do that? So you need to 
uh, select your models folder just right click add new item just click on your data click your edu.net entity data model just define your model I'm using a Henry model dot DTSX just click you need to choose entity framework designer from database science uh, MVC and also web API I need to use some entity framework to make it uh, simpler science entity framework is a ORM object relationship model uh, if you are a lot of L eloquent is the same thing as a entity framework but entity framework is more advanced on its feature I kind of really like this entity framework so just click next just new connection uh, my server is on local just define a local and database name which I'm using is NRIO2 so test connection is connection succeeded just ok and if you want to change your entities just change it but I don't really want to change so next I already I'm using a tool version just click the newest one and if you are had uh, some fields so procedure function and tables just click all of them but I already uh, had only a table so I need to choose a table only just finish it takes some time to build okay it's a lot of time it depends your computer performance so we already created your entity framework with a database uh, first uh, objective so we already created the entity right here and don't forget to save by by two ways control s or using control shift and B so I need to save it okay it took some time to do perform such a thing it depends your computer so it already built so need to uh, start without debugging just control F5 okay it's done okay next tutorial I will teach you about uh, making um, some models models for the JSON results or uh, controller and need to define API controller and the few uh, connecting and also the its controller connecting to entity framework so we don't really want to do some from the scratch so that is for today's video guys thank you guys for watching if you guys like my content make sure you guys to subscribe to my channel put in the put the thumbs up of my videos don't forget to share this video if you guys like it don't forget to turn on notification if you guys like it just hit the bell button besides of the subscribe button and check out my Facebook page and my Twitter account. Make sure you follow like them. I will put my social media links in this video description down below. I will see you guys next video. See you soon. Bye bye for now. Stay tuned.